Yo, so we're back with some more Tekken 8 news, and today we got an IGN first look at Tekken 8 beta. So we're gonna go and look at this video and see exactly what we can um, see that's new for the upcoming beta. We, I think we're eight days away at this point, so um, let's go ahead and look at it. The tastiest drink of the world is Azucena. coffee or nothing, says Azucena, Tekken's newest character, when she runs into Lily. I'll teach you of the majesty that is tea, Lily shoots back. It's a dialogue exchange that only happens when these two characters go head to head, and in this case, it's appropriate. Tekken producer Michael Murray is drinking coffee and playing Azucena. I'm drinking tea and playing Lily. Michael destroys me. I don't often play Lily, and Michael is, unsurprisingly, a very good Tekken player. But even though I lost that match, I was having an absolute blast. We were laughing, complimenting strong moments in each other's play, sharing surprise at certain interactions, and generally having a great time. Naturally, I switched to Azucena the next match. I'll never give up on T, but there's nothing wrong with switching characters, right? Like every other character I played in Tekken 8, she was a lot of fun. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me back up a little. <laughs> I was at Bandai Namco's office in Irvine, California for two days last week, and much of that time was spent playing Tekken 8, talking to Michael Murray about Tekken 8, and playing Tekken 8 while talking to Michael Murray about Tekken 8. We were throwing down an early version of the Tekken 8 closed beta test that folks can get their hands on from October 20th to 23rd. That dialogue exchange between Lily and Azucena is just one of the many examples of the defi- Wait a second. Yo, this, um, this Brian outfit, for Tekken 7 looks so dope. Yeah, check this. This is um it looks it looks really, really good. Yeah, it <laughs> I almost want to say he has the best Tekken 7 preset. Like he looks the best with his Tekken 7 outfit compared to his Tekken 8 outfit. I just want to I just want to put that out there. That's just my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. Um yeah, Brian's Tekken 7. Lily Nazucina is just wins. one of the many examples of the defining quality that seems to run through Tekken 8. Attention to detail. The first place you'll notice this is the graphics. There are a lot of beautiful fighting games these days. That's a dope outfit but the too. Unreal Engine 5 powered Tekken 8 might be the prettiest of them all. You'll notice the attention to detail in everything from the way the environments break when characters smash into them, to how some stages move from day to night between rounds. The Urban Square stage looks like you could stumble across it while wandering around Midtown Manhattan. And then, of course, there's the way the characters get dirty and beat up as they get hit and knocked down. After one match, Nina's wedding dress, one of the four costumes that she and every other character brings to the CBT, had gotten wet and dirty as we played. Speaking of characters, there are 19 of- Wait, before we get to- Gotten the wet and dirty. I never noticed this, but Nina's wedding dress outfit. Why didn't they give her the hair too? With the uh, the hair piece, but oh well. But that is dope though. The um, dirty clothes and stuff, and your your skin gets dirt on it too. Shout outs to the um, UFO again. Dirty as we played. Speaking of characters, there are nineteen of them in the closed beta test. Sixteen, Jin. Kazuya, June, Paul, Law, King, Lars, Xiao Yu, oh, he's Shaki, naming them all. Nina, Oscar, Leroy, Paul Ray, Lily, Brian, and Claudio return from the closed network test. They were joined by three new faces, Feng Wei and Raven, who returned from Tekken 7 and Tekken 6, respectively, and nope. Azucino Milagros Ortiz Castillo, who is new for Tekken 8. Every character in Tekken 8 feels great, and things have changed a little bit since the CNT. I played every character, but naturally gravitated back to Leroy, who was my main the first time around. But I also got more comfortable with June and Jen, played around with Asuka, and even made some strides with King. Okay. Part of my improvement was familiarity, but part of it was also special style, which assigns most of the character's moveset to one of the four face buttons. Special style was in the CNT, but the version here feels much better. Multiple moves are now assigned to square, which performs a character's signature moves, and circle, which is used for lows and throws, courtesy of pressing the button you want in either down, right, or left. That means a lot more moves for each character. Since cross gives you access to your power crush, and triangle gets you a launcher and a follow-up combo if you continue to press that button, you can essentially play entire matches in special style if you want to. What really makes... So before he gets to that, the, um, 
special style. What do you guys think about that being on the screen at all times while you're playing? Like this is um I wouldn't say it's distracting, so let's let's go back here. Um where they're both on the screen. So they're on both sides. They're in good positions, I'd say. They're not like in the way of the button. characters. You can essentially play entire matches in special style if you want to. What really makes special style, well, special, is that you can switch it on and off at will. That means veteran players can get something out of it too. I often found myself playing normally in neutral situations and then switching to special style to do combos or punish when I needed a big hit, and it worked. Yeah, so I, that's something I was doing in the, um, the CNT with King, was uh, switching to special style because his toll kick, which is back three, you know, he had that just frame one plus two for the uh, leg drop extension. I would go to special style after I get like a counter hit push and just hit the one button and it just does the follow up automatically. Then I switch it back. That's uh, something cool that I'm sure new players are going to really enjoy is being able to like have all of these different um, easy inputs. You guys can see has the rage out there because yeah once once you're enraged this pops up that's really dope it's also dope that like heat smash here is available because he he's he still hasn't used it yet but lars on the other hand he's already used his heat bar so it disappears so like those those are good prompts and uh, like visual indicators that you don't have this or you do have that you know so it's really good after you launch your opponent with triangle, you can do three different combos. Your standard combo, which is done by repeatedly pressing triangle. A combo with more wall carry, where you'll press square. Or a combo with circle, which gives you a more advantageous knockdown. And you can also add delays to the combo to make custom routes. Kazuya, for instance, can delay his triangle combo to add more electric wind god fists. A combo that you can do normally. My too. goodness. One button electric, guys. Of the guys. newcomers to the CBT, I enjoyed Azucena the most. Though all three of them are fun. Whether you're hitting people with Raven Shadow Clones or Fing's outrageous damage. Azucena's got a stance that allows her to evade high attacks, several powerful kicks, good strings with exciting frame trap possibilities, and very, very satisfying sidesteps. It doesn't hurt that she's sporting some of the best fits in the game, either. It's that attention to detail thing the Tekken 8 does so well. The closed beta test also brings a new stage, or T's farm, to the five we saw in the CNT, making for six total. That's a cool stage. It's a stage. three level stage. Alpacas wander around the top level, but if you manage to break the floor and get to the bottom, you'll find yourself in what looks like a temple covered in gold. Supply your enemy onto the wall here, and you'll see one of Tekken 8's newest additions, wall launches, which do exactly what the name implies, shooting your foe into the air and allowing you to continue combos and get extra damage, adding an additional wrinkle to stage selection and how characters play in the areas where it shows up. Yeah. Ortiz Farm is the only stage with wall launches in the CBT, but every stage is gorgeous. That's Whether I was one. watching the sunset in Urban Square, admiring the arena, or my personal favorite, marveling at the water in Yakushima, I always notice something new each time we play the stage. Yeah. Yeah, that, that stage goes is for dope. The gameplay too. Everything about Tekken 8 just feels right. The way characters react when they're hit, the sound effects when you hit a launcher, how the stages break when characters are knocked into the environment, and even the amount of pushback on a powerful move combined to make a game where everything feels just the way you'd expect. And then there are smaller changes that show Tekken Project is listening to player feedback. Want to map inputs to L3 and R3? Now you can. Worried that heat bursts and heat dashes could be used together to create combos that were too long and too damaging? That's been changed. Visual effects making combat hard to read? They've been adjusted. And wow, players have combo. more options if they want to make tweaks in the menus. There's more, of course, but as someone who played the closed network test until I was literally kicked off the servers and played the CBT until Bandai Namco literally took the machine away, I can say the changes were noticeable and for the better. Oh, snap, they nerfed the Kazuya string. I came away from Tekken 8's CBT incredibly impressed, and I'm counting down the days until I can play more of it. If I had to sum everything up, though, I'd... Get eight more days. Leroy says when he wins a match. Accept all, chase none. There are a lot of repressive fighting games out there, and you can't go wrong with any of them. Tekken 8 may be the newest kid on the block, but it isn't chasing anyone. From what I can tell so far, it's running at the head of the pack. Stay tuned to IGN all October long for more exclusive IGN first coverage of Tekken 8. All right, that was a that was a good um, that was a good video. Yeah, quick and um, 
they show quite a bit of things like the uh, the special style is interesting so they actually made it a little bit more um detailed they have a little bit more things you can do so you can actually change your combos by like doing all square or all triangle now at first it was just one button um just i think it was what triangle on the cnt but now you got square and triangle so you can change up your combos while you're playing and mashing yeah like i said this stuff is just really really good for casual players really really good bang with this red suit is definitely getting selected but his default outfit is also like super good yeah, so the Fang player is just mashing two. But yeah, that's that's still like, like I said, it's a good thing that they added like the, the single button inputs. So Tekken 8 is finally a modernized fighting game. I know a lot of the old heads in the, in the comment section are gonna disagree with it being a good thing, but I think it's actually a great thing because this game here is definitely um, shaping up to be the greatest Tekken ever. And uh, I might even do a video on that one separately on why I think so. But um, as far as this um, footage from IGN and everything, it's, it's looking quite well. It's shaping up quite nicely. I like the specialty style here. Now I don't know about like one button death fist or like one button electric. That's a little bit excessive, but at the same time, I can, you know, I can understand, especially for someone new trying to pick up Kazuya, they're trying to get rid of that execution barrier, you know? So um, it's, <laughs> it's definitely looking like a really good game. So I can't wait to play the beta. It's in eight days. Can't stress it enough. I hope everyone signed up because I think the deadline was yesterday or maybe the day before. So yeah, I would definitely be streaming it like every day um, of the weekend was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, you're gonna see plenty of me playing that. A lot of King, but I'm gonna try like every character. I'm definitely gonna try every character. So yeah, this beta here, the presets, yeah, presets, specialty mode. I'm, I'm gonna try all that stuff and see like what would be the best way to add it to your game, you know, the specialty style controls. Cause like I said, already with King, I was doing it with um, his toe kick, his um, back three. But I'm gonna see like what else like what are his target combos with just hitting square or just hitting triangle, all that stuff. So um, it could definitely be useful for casuals and pro players or like, it just depends on like what the loadout is for each character. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments about the beta, this interview here, this, um, it wasn't an interview, was it? It was just this guy's experience of playing the beta early on. Yeah, I know some of the people that are, um, you know, playing the beta right now, they're definitely enjoying it too. I'm definitely waiting until the um, 20th. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see what all they changed for King and all these other characters. So um, you will be seeing it. Like I said, I'm gonna be streaming it. And again, hit the like button on this video. It definitely helps out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like I said, I'm covering plenty of Tekken 8, and obviously I'm going to um, like be competing for this game again, so that's definitely a big W for all the fans and the people that watch this channel and the people that support me, so um, definitely be on the lookout for that. There's nothing but more content on the way, so um, I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.